Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to be talking about hip stall golf swing. Keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about hip stall golf swing. So what does this look like and why is the hip stall a bad thing? And specifically when I'm talking about hip stall and the golf swing, I'm talking about those hip stalling in the downswing. All right, so from down the line camera view, this is what it might look like. If you're someone that's been told your hips are stalling, this is what it will look like. So if I'm set up to one here, as we get to the top, what happens when the hips stall? You might come down and start down okay, but when you get to about here, you see these hips are pointing pretty much towards the golf ball. They won't continue turning through impact. And what will happen is your hands and arms will take over and you'll get in this sort of position here because they have to to control the club face rather than getting the hips to keep turning with, with a much squarer club face. So down towards the camera, this would be the hip stalling. Stopping there, hands and arms taking over. Now, you can play decent golf having your hip stall. I've done it before, it's one of the things I'm working on in my game. But you're very reliant on getting the timing with your hands and your arms to hit the golf ball solid. And especially what you need to do if you're someone that does this, quite often you'll come down, your face will be open, just enabling you that bit of room to cross over, to roll over, to square up that club face. And that's what a lot of guys or golfers do that hip stall. They have that face a little bit open on the downswing. So you can play good golf like that, but I definitely recommend you keep turning, rotating those hips in the downswing and that will enable you to get much better club face control and play more consistently. So let's look at some reasons why you might be stalling out those hips. Okay, here's a couple of reasons why your hips might be stalling in the golf swing. This is a very common one, something again I battle with myself and that's sliding in the downswing. What that looks like, if I'm set up to one here, as you start your downswing, your hips will shift laterally towards the target too much. Now, I don't mind a tiny little bit of lateral shift, but if you do it too much like this, it makes it very difficult to get any sort of decent rotation through the golf ball, and inevitably, those hands will take over when you slide too much this way. So from this angle here, that will look like too much slide this way, very hard to rotate, and you end up taking over with your hands and arms. Now the other reason why your hips might be stalling would be your pelvis moving forward too much in the downswing or commonly called early extension. This is super common. So from this angle we'll show it best. If you've looked at yourself on video and you get to the top here and as you start your downswing, instead of your pelvis area here, your hips staying back, you lift up, they come forward towards the golf ball. Again, this inhibits your ability to rotate. It's so much easier to rotate when you stay down a lot more, but when you stand up, move that pelvis forward, you'll struggle to rotate properly and play a lot more consistent golf. Okay. Another couple of reasons why your hips might be stalling in the golf swing is to do with both your right leg and your left leg. So from this angle here, with our lead leg here. Now, this is not usually talked about a heck of a lot, but it is a big reason for hip stalling. A lot of golfers, as they make their downswing, this lead knee in the downswing, instead of it moving out like this, externally rotating and clearing out of the way, some golfers, they'll have it still pushing in this way in towards the right knee there. And when you do that, you can see if I'm pushing it in like that, it makes it more difficult, it really inhibits my ability to rotate when this knee is pushed in, this leg's pushed in this way. Whereas if I was to externally rotate it like this, so much easier 
to rotate, get those hips open and stop those hips stalling out. Now with the right leg and the right knee, it's pretty much the same thing. If you get to your downswing like this, and this right leg really drives in like this too much, it forces you to laterally shift this way. And again, you struggle to get that rotation that we're after. And it's much easier if you can get this right leg to really work with the left leg and get into this position here where you've got that squat sort of move happening here. That way you can rotate much easier and those hips will not stall out in the golf swing. Okay, a uh, final reason why your hips might be stalling in the golf swing, and I've touched on this already about early extension, is with these legs straightening too quickly in the downswing. So this is what it looks like. So if you make a downswing here, you can see here I've got this flex in my legs. As you start your downswing, if you lose that flex and stand up, again, that makes it difficult for our hip joints to keep rotating, and again, hands and arms get involved. So really important as you make your downswing, you really get into that squat position, push that pelvis back, and that just makes it easy to get those hips rotating through to a full finish. So that's how, that's some common reasons why your hips might be stalling in the golf swing. So let's look at some ways how we can fix it. Okay, let's look at some ways how we can fix this hip stall in the golf swing. Now, this one kind of works a little bit differently because it's not actually focusing on the hips at all, but it will have a direct result of being fixed when you fix up this other part of the swing. Now, I touched earlier about the open face on the downswing, how subconsciously we end up flipping and you can end up playing some pretty good golf. So this is what it looks like. A lot of golfers who hip stall, they come down with an open face because they know they have to and match it up on the other side to hit consistent golf. So what you need to do to help encourage that hip rotation and less face rotation through impact is when you start your downswing, really focus on getting that club head a lot squarer, a lot quickly. And when you do that, your brain is going to tell you, I don't need to flip my hands. I'll be in this position here and I can just rotate through to a full finish. So getting that club face square earlier in the downswing will have a really positive effect and stop your hips from stalling out. Okay, here's the final two ways you can fix your hips that are stalling out in the golf swing. And these go hand in hand with that, uh, fixing up that face in the downswing. So the first one, and I've briefly touched on this already, what I want you to do is make sure you regain that flex or at least increase that flex in your legs in the downswing. So as you go to the top, what we don't want to be doing is getting taller in our stance. We want to be getting lower increasing the flex in our legs as we come down and that will help us get our hips to become more active and rotate a lot better so they won't stall out now tying in with that what i want you to do and this again this ties in with this club face getting it squarer i'd like you to work on getting a little bit more bowing in your lead wrist in the downswing so as so i go to the top so if we look at the wrist here this would be flat this would be cupped and this would be bowing so what I'd like you to do is get a little bit more bowing to help strengthen up that lead wrist and that'll square up that club face. So as you go to the top, we're going to squat more, get more flex. We're going to bow that lead wrist. You can see there the face is a lot squarer. I'm going to come through to impact and then I'm just going to rotate. Now subconsciously your brain will know that face is a lot squarer you don't need to flip your wrist because if you do the ball's just going to go hard left so if you're practicing this at the driving range and the ball's going way left that means you're still flipping your wrist a little bit and you don't need to do that if you've got a stronger face a lot squarer face after bowing it all you need to do from there is keep rotating through 
We don't need to stall at those hips. We can just keep rotating. You'll get less club face movement rotation. It'll be a lot squarer and you'll be able to hit the golf ball a lot more consistently. So really important coming up. I've got a video that talks about hands exiting left and the club face going down the target line now. This ties right in with this video to help you play a lot more consistent golf. So make sure you watch this video, it's coming up. Do you want to know how to make an even better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about how your hands exit left, club goes out in the golf swing. Now this ties in really well with this video to help you make a great overall golf swing. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? consider subscribing to the channel and remember if you have any questions or comments please let me know I will get back to you thanks for watching see you next time